Welcome to this complete Oslo, Norway travel guide. Nestled in the heart of Scandinavia, Oslo, the capital of Norway, is a city where history and modernity coexist harmoniously. Renowned for its lush green spaces, fascinating museums and vibrant culture, Oslo is a city that offers something for every traveler. In this guide, we will explore 10 must-visit attractions in Oslo, each providing unique insights into the city's rich heritage and contemporary charm. Let's begin our journey with the echoes of the past at the Viking Ship Museum. Our first stop is the Viking Ship Museum, where history comes alive. This place is a treasure trove of Viking heritage. The museum houses an impressive collection of well-preserved Viking ships, each with its own story to tell. Among the standout exhibits are the Gokstad and Oseberg ships. The Gokstad, a fast, sturdy sea vessel, speaks of the Viking seafaring prowess. The Oseberg, on the other hand, is a symbol of opulence, a ship for ceremonial use, adorned with intricate carvings. The museum also showcases grave artifacts, including weapons, household items, and even horse carts, all of which were buried with the ships for the afterlife. These artifacts offer a fascinating glimpse into the daily lives and beliefs of the Vikings. A visit to this museum is like stepping back in time, immersing yourself in the world of the Vikings. From the Viking Age, we'll now leap to the world of winter sports at the Holman Collin Ski Museum. Welcome to the world's oldest ski museum, the Holman Collin Ski Museum. Nestled within the iconic Holman Collin Jump Tower, this museum is a testament to over 4,000 years of skiing history. From rock carvings of skiers dating back to the Stone Age, to equipment used by polar explorers, the museum's collection is as vast as it is intriguing. The museum also tells the tale of snow sports, showcasing the evolution of skiing and its impact on Norwegian culture, but that's not all. The jump tower itself is a marvel, towering over the landscape. It's more than just a sports venue. It's a symbol of Norway's love for winter sports, and if you're not afraid of heights, the top of the jump tower offers a panoramic view of Oslo that is simply breathtaking. From the fjords to the cityscape, it's a vista you won't easily forget. Now that we've conquered the heights, let's descend into the realm of art at Vigeland Sculpture Park. Welcome to the world's largest sculpture park, made by a single artist, the Vigeland Sculpture Park. Nestled in the heart of Oslo, this open-air gallery is home to over 200 sculptures, each one a testament to the creative genius of Gustav Vigeland. As we wander through the park, it's impossible not to feel a sense of awe. Every piece, from the smallest to the grandest, is infused with such emotion and life that they seem almost ready to step off their pedestals. Among the numerous sculptures, two stand out the monolith and the fountain. The monolith, a towering column carved from a single piece of granite, represents the cycle of life, while the fountain, adorned with 60 human and 20 tree groups, is a symbol of the eternal life cycle. So next time you're in Oslo, make sure to carve out some time for the Vigeland Sculpture Park. From the stillness of sculptures, let's move to the melodies of the Oslo Opera House. Behold the magnificent Oslo Opera House, a marvel of contemporary architecture, rising from the waters of the Bjorvika district like a colossal iceberg. This splendid structure is a celebration of Norwegian design and craftsmanship. Constructed from white Italian marble and glass, its angular edifice reflects the fjords and sky, effortlessly blending with its stunning natural surroundings. A unique feature of this architectural masterpiece is its accessible roof. The sloping walkways invite visitors to ascend and enjoy panoramic views of Oslo, providing a stage for the city itself. Inside, the Opera House is as impressive as its exterior. Home to the Norwegian National Opera and Ballet, it has staged numerous world-class performances. From Puccini's Tosca to contemporary Nordic productions, it continues to captivate audiences with its rich repertoire. The Oslo Opera House is not just a building, but a testament to Norway's love for art, nature and community. Leaving the modern behind, let's step back in time at the Akershus Fortress. Welcome to the Akershus Fortress, a place where history stands still. Nestled in the heart of Oslo, this fortress has been a silent observer to the city's evolution for over seven centuries. Originally built as a medieval castle in the late 13th century, it later transformed into a royal residence and then a military base. Akershus Fortress stands as a symbol of Oslo's resilience and historical richness. Its stone walls whisper tales of siege, warfare and survival. 
Within these walls, you'll find the Norwegian Armed Forces Museum, a treasure trove for military history enthusiasts. It houses an extensive collection of artifacts that narrate Norway's military history from the Viking Ages to the present day. Just a stone's throw away is Norway's Resistance Museum, a poignant reminder of the country's resistance during the Second World War. It offers an immersive journey into a tumultuous past. So soak up the history, feel the weight of the past, and let the fortress's stories seep into your soul. Let's continue our journey through time at the Fram Museum. Welcome to the Fram Museum, home to the world's strongest wooden ship. Here resides the legendary Fram, a vessel that has seen the farthest reaches of both the North and South Poles. The Fram is more than just a ship, it's a symbol of human tenacity, embodying the relentless spirit of exploration that has shaped our world. Then there's the Joa, another hero of the high seas. This ship holds a special place in maritime history, being the first to successfully navigate the treacherous Northwest Passage. It's a testament to the audacity of adventure, a vessel that dared to venture where none had succeeded before. Each display in this museum is a story of triumph, of courage in the face of the unknown, and of mankind's insatiable curiosity. It's not just about ships and sea voyages, it's about the indomitable spirit of discovery. From the icy poles, let's transition to the warm embrace of art at the National Gallery. Oh, welcome to the National Gallery, a treasure trove of fine art. Housed within this grand institution are countless masterpieces that narrate the rich tapestry of art history. From the Renaissance to the Romantic period, each room is a journey through time, showcasing a myriad of styles, themes and techniques. But among this vast collection, there is one work that invariably captures the imagination of every visitor. Edvard Munch's iconic The Scream. The Scream, with its haunting depiction of existential dread, is a testament to Munch's genius. The bold strokes, the vibrant palette and the raw emotion make it a timeless masterpiece that resonates with audiences of every generation. But the National Gallery is not just about one painting, it's a celebration of creativity, a testament to the transformative power of art. It's a place where you can lose yourself in the beauty of brushstrokes and colours, in the stories they tell and the emotions they evoke. Leaving the world of art, let's embrace spirituality at the Oslo Cathedral. Welcome to the Oslo Cathedral, a symbol of the city's spirituality. This grand edifice, as old as the 17th century, is steeped in history and tradition. It has witnessed royal weddings and coronations and has been the heartbeat of Oslo's religious life for hundreds of years. The cathedral's interior is a testament to the grandeur of the past. The pulpit, a masterpiece of richly carved wood, is a sight to behold. It has looked over countless sermons bearing witness to the spiritual journey of the city. Then there's the altarpiece, a beautiful painting that harkens back to the Renaissance, symbolizing the divine connection between the earthly and the heavenly. Let's not forget the stained glass windows, their vibrant hues casting a kaleidoscope of colors, creating an ethereal atmosphere that leaves one in awe. From the sacred, let's move to the cultural at the Norwegian Museum of Cultural History. Welcome to the Norwegian Museum of Cultural History, a journey through Norwegian life over centuries. This open-air museum, one of the largest in Europe, boasts an impressive collection of more than 160 buildings. Each structure, relocated from towns and rural districts across Norway, tells its own unique story of the country's past. One of the most striking attractions here is the Stave Church from Gaul. This incredible wooden structure dating back to the 12th century provides a breathtaking insight into the architectural prowess of the early Norwegians. Its intricate wood carvings and dragon motifs are a testament to the fusion of Christian and Viking symbolism. The museum isn't just about buildings though. With a rich array of exhibits, you can explore everything from folk dress and Sami culture to toys and handicrafts. A visit here is like stepping back in time, offering a fascinating glimpse into the heart and soul of Norway. Our journey ends at the vibrant Aker Brygge waterfront district. Welcome to Aker Brygge, where the city meets the sea. This vibrant waterfront district is a hub of activity, buzzing with restaurants serving a smorgasbord of global cuisine and shops to satisfy the most discerning of shoppers. The views over the Oslo Fjord are nothing short of breathtaking. Don't miss the Tuvolman Sculpture Park, a testament to Norway's love for art, and, of course, the Astrup Fjernli Museum, a must-visit for art enthusiasts. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey through Oslo, Norway. Until next time, happy travels.